Studios Scott's Plus C channel and today I'm gonna teach you how to use Camtasia Studio seven. Um I've made many videos using Camtasia Studio seven. I've made a video on how to get it for free and my friends downloaded it and he doesn't know how to use it, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how to um make your own Camtasia Studios video. Um when you get Camtasia Studios it comes with a Cam um, Tasia recorder if you go to all programs and find Camtasia and click on applications it will all be down here um, I haven't got any sp videos so I'm just going to show you using my YouTube intro so here you drag it in here and it asks for a dimension size um, you want to choose YouTube and HD so this will make it the same size as the YouTube video box so it will fit the whole screen on YouTube and there's no black lines around the edges and it also makes it HD as well so people can view it in HD once you've inserted your video down here you can add items from a clip bin you can just import media so like videos um, pictures, music and then once you've closed this all that everything in clip bin will be deleted what will save memory if you want to use it all the time so a um, for example my youtube intro um, and stuff like that I keep in my library because it's faster and it's always there you also get a few um, animation clips like so um, you can add to them um, sequence if you want to use one as an intro you use a sequence and it'll add it and then you just change this time text call out to whatever you like and you have your own intro if you haven't made one yourself um, you can add call outs what are basically here you have shapes sketch motions blur highlight um, another highlight one um, Buttons. So if someone, if you press Control C to copy and paste, you can use that. Add text and add photos and other callouts um, as well. Hotspots. Um, you can't really add because it's YouTube. If I have one, for example, here, you can edit the, the drawing time, the fade in and fade out. Um, you can have effects. Change the border color. Um, change to whatever you like and if I play it, put this back over here put a bit more drawing time on and if I do this and just play it here it goes and it draws it in for me um, like so um, also you have a zoom and pan um, I also sh made a video on how to tilt your screen um, here you just move it like minimize it move it around it may take a bit of time to update this screen over here but of course um, you can just play it and it will should update basically um, and it's been a little crazy for me um, once you've done that you can add a tilt if you turn this um, it makes sure advanced is like this it'll be like that if you click this you can add a tilt effects from this side to the other side you don't have to go all the way you can go partially so it doesn't tilt as much um, I've basically cancelled out my tilt effects that's what it would look like and I've just cancelled it out um, like so you can add um, you can edit the audio by doing the audio down and up like so you can also edit for fade out and fade in like so you can silent remove audio points if you've if you've added like a fade out or a volume up you can go remove audio points and it will restore it back to normal you can have transactions what you need to have two clips what I don't have but you can um but yeah um here you have your zoom in tool to help you edit more here you have your snip so you can click there click that and it will separate the two sections so you then you can delete the second half if you like there's an undo button redo and then you've got all your little tools over here as well you have more effects like cursor effects um, it won't let me do cursor effects because I got a customized cursor you have to use your default cursor with your computer otherwise you can't add cursor effects you can have highlights spotlights and magnify you can also have rings when you click warp or you can have a ripple um, you can have different cursor effects 
you can also add title clips um, I don't use them you can have voice narration so if you've done a gameplay video for example um, and you don't want to talk while playing because you want to concentrate you can just use this to record and you start from the beginning click record and it will record your voice from wherever and it basically um, rec um, your voice gets recorded as you watch the video so it's more easier for yourself you have record camera um, if you have a like camera plugged into your computer you can record using it um, you have picture in a picture this yeah is what people normally use to add like a little corner picture saying um, what well, I've got a spinning SMP symbol if I quickly add that in add the timeline yeah that I've just added that to timeline and now it just take up the whole screen and you don't want it to take up the whole screen so to get it to go into the corner you just right click Go add to pip video and then it gets added to pip video like so like it's like added like a another video but it's on a different timeline and then you can just minimize this to the corner like so and then you have what you need it for um, there's that picture in the picture you can do captions um, I don't normally do captions and you can also do quizzing what ain't really for YouTube it's more for like um, if you're making a website with um, interactive positions and YouTube won't allow you to do interactive stuff so the quizzing won't really work once you've made your video you can um, go produce and share here it'll say web and it'll say YouTube and stuff but don't bother doing that because one it takes twice as long and the quality isn't as good when you convert it just click HD um, if you're making it for an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod, then you can do either of these. Or if you're making a, just a basic template, so for example, I've got a YouTube intro and it says different text at the beginning. Instead of me having to repeat that over and over and over again, I can just click custom production settings. So it means it'll save it like this, but this will all be in it. It's basically like going to file save as but it's different because it's a proper project what you can actually edit and you can't remove it in any way that's really good you can go web if you're adding it to a website you have if you're adding it to a blog you also have CD and DVD ready if you have a CD you want to burn it too you can also share it to a screencast.com website um, I'm not so sure what that is but what you do is just click HD click next then you name it um, if you haven't, if you've clicked file and went save as, then the name would all be what you what you saved it as. But I haven't saved it, so it's called untilted. When you choose where you want to, um, where you want it to be sent to once when it's been um, processed, um, our mine is always to my desktop. You can out, you can have it organized into subfolders. I will recommend to untick it because sometimes when it gets organized into subfolders what I do is I drag the video out of the subfolder onto my desktop and when I try deleting the folder it doesn't work um, so I recommend to untick that before doing it and leave everything else as it is and you just click finish and it will turn it into a video um, and there's my um, tutorial for Camtasia Studios okay um, thanks for watching Scott's Elite channel and see ya